Hello there, David Taylor or Mr. Pelagonium back with another video for the Pelagonium and Geranium Society uh, in a very wet southern England. It's how the month is ending. I'm filming this on the very last day of the year, the 31st of December. Lots of things to, to sort of review from this last month where we've had just every kind of weather you could think of thrown at us, Pelagonium growers. Um, so we're going to just review that. We're also going to begin the process of cutting back my regals, which I have to do now. So let's get going. Well, hello there, it's good to see you again. Um, it's probably been the best part of a month since I did a video last for the Pelagonium and Geranium Society. Uh, it's just been a busy month, there's been a lot going on, obviously all the festivities over the last week or so. Um, I also had my birthday in the middle of the month and went away with the, uh, with the wife for uh, a few days. So lots of things going on. So I haven't had a great deal of time to do much in the way of videos but believe me there has been a lot of work going on to keep pelagoniums alive um, anybody that sees my social media feeds will note that in the uk the more or less the sort of second and third week of december we had almost record-breaking low temperatures for December. Um, we, the last time we had such a cold period of weather in December was 13 years ago. Uh, so that shows you how long it's been. Uh, rather bizarre, following a very, very mild autumn, of course, which I've spoken about on many occasions. Uh, and it really was, with my heater set on about 15 degrees, uh, it really was a challenge to keep the coldest parts of my glass house above freezing. Uh, the thermostat that I've got buried down here, so that it's, it's kept out the way of the heater, so it's almost the coldest part of the glass house, you could say. Uh, that feeds to a, a pickup in the uh, kitchen, and it went down to about half a degree above freezing with the heater blasting at sort of 15 plus. So. You know, it, it was a real challenge during that period to, you know, to keep the plants really frost free. But I didn't lose any, any plants with the frost. Um, we were getting temperatures in southern England down to about minus 12 at night. And during the day, it wasn't going above about minus 2 degrees, uh, which is very unusual at any stage in the winter in the UK. Uh, but here in the south in December, that is really unusual, very early in the winter. But I got through. Uh, unfortunately, there were a few really top growers that didn't. And one of those was Tom Kirkland. I will just mention Tom's name because he's a top grower. Uh, he won the best in show this year with a fantastic fan of Frank Headley. I'll just put a picture of that through now just to... Uh, to remind him and others of how brilliant a plant it was. Uh, but unfortunately, um, Tom had a heater failure and it meant that his, um, his glass house went down to about minus 13. He, of course, is based in Scotland um, and he's lost all of his stock. Uh, so he will be having to start more or less from scratch again. So he wished Tom all the very best in his pursuits of plants. Uh, and even potentially making the decision to sort of carry on. It can be very, very demoralising when that happens. Now, certainly anyone else that didn't have a heater almost certainly would have lost their plants in glass houses, sheds and that sort of thing. Um, I would be very surprised if anybody, you know, managed to, uh, to salvage anything from severe cold like that, uh, which, as I said, thankfully in the UK, we do not get very often. But without doubt, the big problem that we've had, uh, the, the cold weather snap sort of ended around about the 18th of December. And in the last sort of 10 days, I suppose, since then, we've had non-stop rain once again, very wet conditions. Uh, and my glass house has suffered chronically this year from damp. Uh, I think I have sort of gutter flooding as well. We've had so much rain that the gutters have just overflowed. They feed down into uh, water butts, 
which I'm having to empty really in order to keep the water flowing through. Uh, but uh, yeah, very, very difficult. Uh, and I have lost quite a few zonals. I have lost quite a number of the smaller zonals, things like dwarfs. Um, some of them have just literally just rotted away. They, they just, it's been so damp, so very, very tricky to, uh, to keep them through. Only the really perhaps open plants, uh, things like some of my trained plants here that have got sort of very open stems so they get a bit of ventilation around them. I mean, even this has got a few dead leaves on it, which I need to strip off, which I can do here. But only the very sort of open plants uh, have, have had any kind of survival capability, really, uh, because zonals, you know, can rot in very, very damp conditions. Uh, so it'd be really difficult to uh, to keep them clean, to keep them to keep the stems from rotting. Yeah, so not easy. Uh, I mean, the only one good thing that the cold spell of weather did do was it brought down some very dry air. So I had the sun on the glass house for the little bit of time that I do at this time of year, and I was able to open up the um, the windows and get a little bit of dry air in here, and the humidity did really drop down, actually. Now, we get that sort of bad news out of the way first. Now, the good thing is, regals, for me, grow like weeds during the winter. They grow like wildfire. Don't have any problems with them whatsoever. Get one or two leaves, just sort of damp off a little bit. But they easily just snap off. The stems stay very clean. I don't have any issues at all. Uh, but it is that time now where I have to start thinking about uh, giving them a tip stop, um, giving them a little bit of a tip stop and a shake ready for the shows. Now, uh, prior to doing this video, I did count through and it's actually 24 weeks today. As I said, I'm filming this on the uh, Saturday, the 31st, the last day of the year, 31st of December. And 24 weeks to go and that is exceptionally early. You wouldn't normally do this until 18 to 20 weeks for regals but I do mine early primarily because I think I've got quite a darkish glass house uh, and regals are very sensitive to light so I will be tip stopping these now over the next week I'll get them all done but we'll run through one together I think today uh, just to show you the sort of thing that I do so we'll have a look at this. This is a Zofia Pope, and this is quite dry. Again, we're getting back to that sort of time where we we sort of have to say, okay, uh, we need to make sure the plant's a little bit on the dry side. Take back any dead or dying leaves, and there's one that I've got on this plant. Again, that's just purely the damp uh, that's causing that. But thankfully, I don't get too many problems. Now this is a Zofia Pope, and one of the things that I can say about the plants that are bred by Martin Pope, he's a really top uh, breeder from the southwest of England. Now the southwest of England is really epitomised by very, very damp weather, and all of the breeding that he did uh, was to ensure that anything that succumbed to the damp, he got rid of. So his plants are notorious for being pretty decent during very damp conditions because he's whittled them out during the breeding process to get rid of anything that really doesn't work in damp conditions. Uh, so here's one of his. This is off your Pope. This is named after his wife for anyone that wishes to know that. And I have rather bizarrely got a few flowers uh, that are just coming out from it. I cut back relatively hard. I suppose this is another reason why I need to do mine early as well, because these are grown on, these are really big. I mean, in terms of show size, I wouldn't want this to get any bigger. But of course, in order to get good side shoots growing through and to cap it down, I really need to, uh, to cut this back relatively hard. So I'll be going down about an inch and a half, which is, say, three to four centimetres, uh, on each of the stems uh, to cap it down uh, and you know hopefully then it will burst through and break through over the next 24 weeks to, to, to produce something quite nice for the shows. I will just close up a bit and we can uh, just run through this together. Okay so I've closed up, I've, um, I've got the body of the plant in the, uh, in the frame now. 
just so that I don't have to magnify it in, um, in the editing process because you lose a bit of quality with that. Now I like to cut back in front of an upper node so that you're ideally going to start to create a ball shape. This is what we're always trying to aim for. And this is with any stopping. This is stopping of zonals as well as uh, regals. So I'm going to take that there. And there you can hopefully see there's a little shoot just on that node, which is coming into this leaf joint. Uh, and the one below it will be the next node down. So you're, it's all the time trying to create this ball. Uh, and there we go. We're, we're going to do that all the way through. We're not going to go too bad. It won't hurt to lose some leaves. I'm going to take some leaves off on the way through as well. It's rather bizarre because it's absolutely pouring with rain. You may be able to even hear it through my microphone. Now, just looking around my plant, I'm not going to take that one quite as deep. Because it's more or less in line with the uh, with the other one, and you'll want to keep it fairly symmetrical all the way through. Once we've done it, we do sort of review it all the way around to make sure it's all balanced off. Uh, this is quite a big stem at the top here. I will. Just nip that leaf off there and the one below it as well. The other thing that we've got to think about, of course, always is letting some light down into the plant. So um, that's something we need to consider. There we go. Now we've got as would one would expect in the uh, the sort of weather that we're having. Got one or two sort of rotten leaves. They're not too bad. I'm just taking them off as I go, really. It's as simple as that. As is always the key case, you need to try and get every single stem. Uh, now, as I've said, it's 24 weeks. Now, it is actually surprising how quick that 24 weeks will go through. Um, that's a big stem there. I mean, I've done this plenty of times on the channel before, so you can go back over the years if you want to have a look. I may have done one or two things marginally differently in the past, you never know. See, that's an awkward one because I've got a stem coming out the side. Now, I have retained that. Now, one thing you may see on regals, you may see a little bit of um, botrytis on the tops of the leaves, and that is almost certainly down to a little bit of white fly. And I know I have got a little bit of white fly in the glass house. Nothing too serious. But generally what I do is strip the leaves off when you see the eggs. And if I see some eggs, you won't really get active white fly now at this time of year. But if I see any eggs, I'll show them to you. And you just need to get rid of the leaves that have got the eggs on. You know what'll happen now, they'll all be dead clean. Because I've probably already gotten rid of them, but... Uh, now there's a small one there that I am going to need to stop because it's got it's a good green, good green little stem and it, they need nicking off otherwise they will grow too fast. Um, very small ones you can get away with keeping, um, but if you don't stop them all, they will grow longer than all of the others. Uh, and you don't really want that to happen. But I, I realise that there are, not <coughs> there are not a lot of people that do ex uh, showing nowadays. But doing this early stopping will give your plants a good bush, uh, a good bush shape uh, to grow on uh, and produce a, a really good quality plant. 
um, in the early summer, which is ideally what you're sort of wanting, um, and then that, and give them a really good shape. So, you know, it's not the preserve of exhibitors; it's just the preserve of those that want to get, you know, a really good-looking plant for the growing season. And uh, so, I'm just opening this this up slightly to get a bit of light into there, which is again what you're wanting to do. So there we are, I, I've done the uh, the surround now, I've done this sort of side skirt area. And we just need to go into the top. Right, now we've got a big strong growing stem here. Ooh, let's have a look at that. Trying to balance that with the rest of the plant. It's not easy, is it? I may have to take this one down a bit further, but it's best to um, go a little bit shy initially because you can't stick it back on once it's uh, been cut off. So I go a bit shy on that one. I think I'm going to have to cut that stem down a bit harder because it's a very strong growing stem. So I'll put that down, get rid of the, uh, some leaves. Right, so there we are. I mean, we're, we're sort of almost done in many ways. Uh, yeah, probably okay. Stripping leaves off does enable you to be able to see where you need to cut. Now, this is doing... Sorry, I realise I'm in the way of this cut here. And that is more or less it, apart from the final balancing act. And I can see that this one is definitely taller. We've got two that are sticking up a bit. It's... Uh, right, we'll take this one down. It's too tall it's the certainly one of the main stems so that's brought it into line with that one there next door to it which i have stopped the problem is the one around the other side here which is here because i don't think i'm going to be able to go down much harder on that i'm certainly going to have to go down a little bit though so there, we get into the balance in time now. That's fine, that's okay. And I think that's it. I mean, as I say, it's just a balancing act to the top there. I had to cut that one down a little bit more um, in order to just sort of balance it off. We'll strip down one or two of these other leaves just to get plenty of light going in there. And there we have it, regal stopping. As I say, done early. Um, 24 weeks is is early really for stopping any plant for show but I just do it as I say primarily because my glass house is relatively dark um, but it wouldn't hurt giving your plants a clip now like this regal say if you want some a nice bushy plant in the early part of the summer I have got a small stem there that I think I probably need to stop actually. So we'll just nip the tip of that one out. So this plant is, well, it's two and a half years old. It's an August 20 cutting. So by the time of the shows, it will be just about getting on for three years. And I always say that Zofia Pope is a plant that needs a few years to get to develop. Now the one thing with Sophia Pope as well is that it tends to be slow growing right up until about a month before the shows <laughs> and it will then suddenly just burst into life. It's a slightly bizarre plant in that sort of uh, situation. It won't do a great deal now. I'm happy with that. I've got two or three others as well. Um, that I will do of Zofia Pope. I continue to tidy up. Oh, there's one there that I've missed that's grown sort of under. 
It's only revealed itself since I've uh, stripped some leaves back. So that needs a stop. So there we are. Um, the main thing, of course, once again, I mean, these are only getting watered about once a week and a half, I would say now. Uh, and that now won't be watered. That'll be let to get really quite dry. I'm totally disappointed I haven't been able to find any uh, white fly eggs. I will probably just cut there and see if I can find some. Right, I knew I'd find some white fly eggs uh, if I looked hard enough on one or two of my other plants. So I'll uh, I'll just show you here what they might look like. Right now, all of those uh, you can see there's a white fly there just emerging, and all the little dots around it are white fly eggs. And if you see those, just strip the leaves off the uh, housing them because uh, that help to get rid of them. Um, you can, if, you're, if, you're, if you've got a plant that hasn't got any leaves off, just give them a rub and rub them off. But that's more or less what they look like. They're just little sort of creamy white dots uh, that are uh, eggs of the white fly. Um, so you, as I say, I just strip the leaves off and that does gradually keep them under the control. But that's what they look like. Okay, so that's where we are. Uh, we've cut that one back. I've got about another, oh, about eight or nine to do, and that will be my regal stock done for the shows, uh, which is coming up in 24 weeks' time. Uh, in a month's time, of course, we'll be looking to sort of stop our zonal, so we'll be going on from there. In the meantime, I can only hope and pray that the, uh, the weather dries up a bit in the coming uh, month or so. And uh, we can look forward to uh, another season of growing our pelagoniums. Um, but in the meantime, look after yourselves. And don't forget, on New Year's Eve, have yourself a, a very happy new year. Bye-bye for me for now.